Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. It is that time again. The Sephora holiday savings event is about to start and I was asked if I would share some of my recommendations for the sale as well as my wish list. So the sale is going to kick off on October 28th and run through November 7th. They have the different tiers and the different percentages off. I will leave all that information below in the description box. So I'm going to try to whip through my recommendations. I thought I would try to do a little recommendation from each category such as like hair care, skin care, all the different makeup categories as well as throwing in some fragrance. They now sell commodity at Sephora so I'm super excited about that but I'm just going to try to be as efficient as possible not get into too much detail but I did want to share that I have some new fun goodies. I still stand by any of the recommendation videos I've done in the past but I do have some new foundation and such that I have fallen in love with. So this will be a bit more updated and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, in general at the sale, I think it's always a great time to pick up staples that you know you are going to use such as shampoo and conditioner and hair products. So I'm going to start in that category and the shampoo and conditioner that I have used off and on for years is Orbe. This is the Gold Lust. This is the shampoo and conditioner. Yep, I went ahead and invested in the big guys because these ones last forever. Of course you can get the smaller versions but I love the Gold Lust shampoo and conditioner and it also smells so good. So I wanted to recommend these for shampoo and conditioner especially if you have blonde hair. I also am a firm believer in the K18. This is the Leave-In Molecular Repair Hair Mask. I picked this up at the last sale. This stuff is amazing. It's going to repair your hair. You basically take one pump, you leave it in your hair for three minutes, and you're going to style it like you normally do. But this really is something that I think is fantastic, especially if you are somebody who colors their hair this is a really great product for damage control. Now, as far as a hair tool, I'm excited because I can finally recommend the Dyson Air Wrap. Now, I bought this a few years back, was kind of mad at myself for spending that much money on this hair system. It does come with other attachments. This is the hair dryer and for the longest time I only used the hair dryer so I was kind of like I spent a lot of money just for a Dyson hair dryer but since I have been wearing my hair a bit more full and trying to curl it a bit, I have fallen in love with the air wrap. And I finally get why so many people love it. It just does not make your hair feel damaged whatsoever. And again, I'm somebody who colors my hair. I try to be a little bit careful with the tools I use. Honestly say that this makes your hair feel so soft. It's going to give you very soft waves. And I've just been having so much fun playing around with this. So I can finally recommend, I do think that the Dyson Air Wrap Styler is totally worth it. I do think there's a bit of a learning curve if you're a bit of a novice like myself and I'm so jealous because they have launched a new one with a few new accoutrements that I would love to try but I'm going to be happy with the one that I'm finally using for now and I will say this is an investment tool but I do feel like it is better for my hair and of course it's always best to get it on sale. I was finally excited to be able to actually recommend that to you. Okay one last hair product but it can also 
be sprayed all over your body. This is from Moroccan Oil and this is their Fragrance Mist. And if you love the smell of the Moroccan Oil, you are going to love this mist. It is so good. And again, you can spritz this all over your body, kind of use it like perfume, but it does leave an intoxicating little scent when you put it on your hair and this does not weigh your hair down like the oil so this is just a really beautiful fragrance mist my daughter and i both picked this up recently and we are obsessed with it okay for body care i'm a huge fan of body scrubs. I just think they feel so good. Great way to start off the day. And I love the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum or Boom Boom scrub. That one is amazing. But the new one that I want to try is from the same brand. It is the Bomb Dia Body Scrub 10% AHA BAH plus maracuja it literally has a five star rating so i have that in my cart i just love that and last time at the sale i picked up this particular cream from the same line and i just love it i'm almost finished with this one it smells so good but their body products are amazing. They smell good. They're very effective. And I highly recommend picking up a little bit of body care as we're coming into the winter months and we our skin is a bit drier. I, I think it is really important to take care of the skin on your body just as much as your face. Okay, moving on to sunscreen, I wanted to recommend the Super Goop Glow Screen. This is super popular for a reason. This has an SPF of 40, but it makes the best primer and you're protecting your skin at the same time. So this is going to give you a gorgeous glowy base. It is slightly tinted. And honestly, there is days when I just put this on and almost use it just like a foundation because it gives you the most glorious glowy skin, but it really is fantastic under makeup too. So wanted to recommend the Super Goop Glow Screen SPF 40. Definitely worth checking out if you have not tried this yet. I've just recently discovered this new product from Merit. This is called Great Skin Instant Glow Serum with niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. And this is amazing. I don't even think I've had time to show you this in a video yet. Um, I just am so in love with this. First of all, it is a bi-phase formula, so you are going to shake it up a bit. It is super lightweight. It is going to make your skin feel very plumped up. It gives it a nice natural glow. Let's put this on. Let me just show you this. I have just been loving this. I've been putting it on my skin. I have been using this as a serum, but also a primer. For example, today I'm just wearing this with a bit of concealer because it gives your skin the most gorgeous little healthy glow. I love, love, love this serum slash primer. This is fantastic. Okay, moving on to foundations. I have two new ones that I have fallen in love with. And the first one is from Hourglass. This is the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. This is so pretty on the skin, very forgiving for more mature skin, but I feel like this is gonna work for all skin types. This is gonna be a long wear foundation that's gonna give you a very natural finish. I do feel like it has a little bit of glow to it, but not in a dewy, greasy way. I just find that it does have that soft focus lit from within 
that Hourglass is known for. This is gonna provide you with medium coverage. It is vegan, it is cruelty free, and it comes in 32 shades. So I feel like there is a shade for everyone. And while I'm speaking about it, I absolutely love the brush. So I bought these together. This was launched with the Soft Ambient Foundation. This brush is amazing. It is a little bit smaller than the other foundation brush that I also have and love, but this one just fits right in the curvatures of your face super soft. It just buffs all the makeup into the skin. You do not have to get it with this, but if you're looking for a great foundation brush, I use this with also cream foundations, liquid foundations. I use this pretty much every day as well as my IT Cosmetics Heavenly Complexion brush, which I use for all sorts of cream and liquid products. Those two brushes I highly recommend. Okay. Since we're talking about Hourglass, I did want to go ahead and mention the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Face Palette. This is so good. I picked up the Tiger Combination, which is a bit more warm and bronzy just as a change up because I have some of the other ambient palettes, but honestly, you could not go wrong with the Elephant or the Butterfly one. They have different tones in each one, but they are gorgeous. And I also think this would make a beautiful gift. I just think that the packaging is so darn cute. And I feel like Hourglass is another one of those brands that's a bit underrated. They have some beautiful products that I absolutely love, and this is one of them. And this is going to include everything you need for your complexion. It has a bronzer, a highlighter, finishing powders, blushes, and you honestly can use this all over your face. You can create an eye look just using the bronzer and one of the blush and highlighters. So it's very, very versatile. I took a little detour there, but the next foundation that I want to recommend is from Haas Labs. And this is the Triclone Skin Tech Medium Coverage Foundation with Fermented Arnica. And this is an amazing foundation. I bought this on a whim. I was a little bit intrigued by Lady Gaga's brand. And this is another fantastic medium coverage foundation that is going to look like skin. Olaf wants to come and say hi. He is not really letting me film very well today. So we're going to have him sit in my lap real quick. But I did want to give you a heads up that as far as picking out the shades, this is like MAC, meaning that the warm shades in here are actually going to be for those of us with that have some cool rosy undertones and that the cool undertones are for those of you with warm golden undertones. And then of course they have the neutral shades, but wanted to give you a heads up about that since it is a little bit of the opposite. And for reference, I am 220 warm in the Haas Labs. Okay, for concealer recommendation, I am still in love with the Kosas Revealer Concealer. This is just a fantastic creamy concealer. I love using it not only underneath my eyes, but on my skin. That's what I'm wearing today. I am wearing the Merit along with the Kosas Revealer Concealer quick, easy makeup today. And I just love this concealer. My daughter loves it. So I have two of these in my basket to pick up during the sale. And I'm in shade 2.5C. That's the one that I use. Okay, for powder, my ultimate favorite one right now is from Westman Atelier. This is the Vital Skincare Pressed powder. You guys, I love this. I have this in the shade Bubble. 
that I can't find, so I'm going to be repurchasing it. But I also have this in creme. This is just the most gorgeous powder. It is infused with skincare. But for someone who doesn't love powder, I have completely fallen in love with this. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of this on. It is very finely milled. It is not going to look like I have put a ton of powder on my skin. It is going to do exactly what it is supposed to do. It's going to set the makeup. We'll get rid of shine, but it is also going to let your skin shine through as well. So this is just a gorgeous powder. Cannot recommend it enough. The one in bubble is a little bit of a pink color and it's for brightening your skin. So I kind of love to do that down the T-zone and then I will do the creme just around the perimeter for a nice polished look. And since we're talking about Westman Atelier, I cannot recommend enough the Face Trace. I have it in the shade Biscuit. Absolute favorite contour slash I like to use it to warm up my skin, sort of like a bronzer as well, but highly recommend the Face Trace. Use that almost every single day. For highlighter, I absolutely love her super lit highlighters, especially the one in Nectar. So beautiful. It's going to give you that natural, healthy skin look. And I just love her highlighters. Her Baby Cheeks blush, especially the one in Chouchette. That is another one that I just wear probably a few times a week, but those are just my tried and true products from Westman Atelier. Highly recommend those. And then one that I have just picked up and that I'm obsessed with and definitely think it is worth picking up on the sale. It's her Lip Suede, and this one is in the rouge colors right here. And this might surprise some of you because I love a good nude lip, but when I was in a I got a little makeover from Westman Atelier and he popped on this gorgeous fuchsia shade right up at the top and I kept on hemming and hawing that you know am I really going to spend $85 for this one fuchsia but it is like the perfect fuchsia color like hot pink it just really goes well with my complexion and then this red over here is this beautiful tomato red that is just really flattering on all skin tones then you've got kind of this Bordeaux wine shade and then a nice little neutral shade at the bottom these last forever. I do recommend using a lip brush. I did pick up hers, which I really like, but you could pick up one just from the Sephora brushes lineup. They have great brushes, but this is a splurge item. These lipsticks last forever. I really like the formula. Very forgiving on more mature lips and super long lasting. I actually think this would be a great gift as well. It is a splurge item, but I feel like it's going to be something that everybody would like. It might not be something that they would buy for themselves. The colors are truly festive and fun, and this is coming from somebody who like basically likes to wear lip gloss in neutral shades, and I am obsessed with this. Okay, moving on to bronzer and blush. I'm going to start with a cream bronzer that I love. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Cream Bronzer. I love this so much. This is going to be very similar to the Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. So if you like that, I think you're going to love this. It is so creamy. It is just fabulous, easy to use, and this is a bit easier to travel with as well. Now for powder bronzer, I'm hoping this is back in stock. I'm going to go ahead and mention it. Currently this is sold out in the particular color that I have, but this is, was a surprise hit. This is from Valentino. I only bought the refill. I will share the link for the one that's on the chain. Um, that is going to be like $200. I don't think you're going to want to pick that up. 
using it out of the refill pan works for me and this is their universal bronzer and it is so good this is a cream to powder formula i have just been loving this so much i have in my cart currently one of their finishing powders because this comes because the bronzer comes in the go clutch finishing powder refill pan and this is in the shade 00 universal bronzer but I do see that they have a color in deep that is a probably supposed to be a finishing powder but it could be used as a bronzer so I want to mention that because this formula is just so fantastic I just absolutely love it and I do want to pick up the Go Clutch finishing powder just to check it out because I love this formula so much. It just basically blends in and meshes with the skin. It looks very natural and I'm going to be honest Valentino was not a brand that I was even remotely interested in until I tried this product. And then I fell in love with the formula so much that I bought one of their eye to cheek colors which I highly recommend. This one is in six which is Call Me Coral and also in my cart I have like two other of these blushes because again it's in this cream to powder formula. These are just so beautiful and the blushes like there's like so many gorgeous colors. I think I have Sweet Rebel in there. Call Me Coral is the perfect pink coral with a, some light reflecting pearls in it. The other colors that I have in my cart uh, is the number one Born in Roma which is going to be a poppy bright pink with light reflecting pearls as well as um, Sweet Rebel which is a warm rose with light reflecting pearls and these are just so gorgeous on your skin and I am finding as I am getting a bit older that blush is more essential. It just really wakes up your complexion, makes you look alive and I'm really so surprised at how much I love these Valentino products. Now I'm noticing right now on the website they have two new because these are supposed to be eye to cheek combos and they have two new special limited edition colors and it looks like copper twilight which I feel like could also be used as a bronzer as well as afterglow so these are supposed to be highlighters clearly um, but they are gorgeous and they come in a little different special packaging Hmm, I might have to buy one of those because these are just so fantastic. Again, cream to powder, meshes in with your skin, looks natural, but gives you that really healthy glow. So cannot recommend those enough. And I will link those new ones below as well because those look really good. Moving on to eyeshadow, I did want to mention the Gucci. This is the Flora Eyeshadow Palette. I just feel like this would be a gorgeous gift. This is something that I admittedly bought for the packaging, but I have to say that I have been pleasantly surprised by how good the quality of the shadows are. Yes, they do look a bit teeny, but I don't know about you, but when's the last time you've actually finished an entire palette? The reason I love this and am recommending it is that there is a lot of neutral shades in here that create these really soft, pretty eye looks, but then there's some fun pops of color in here. And again, it is just such gorgeous packaging. I thought it could be a fun holiday gift for yourself or for your favorite beauty junkie. And then one quint that I always recommend to everyone is the one in Soft Cashmere. This is just a perfect everyday eye look. I love this one because it's got a little bit of cool and warm in the palette. It is just going to create a very pretty everyday eye look. So this is one that I recommend to many people from Dior and the formulation of the Dior shadows are just creamy, 
buttery, really beautiful on the eyes, and they are very forgiving on mature eyes as well. And then in my wish list cart, I'm a big fan of the Tom Ford, the Creme Eyeshadow Quads. Those are my favorites. Highly recommend those as well, especially in, I believe it's Smoky Quartz. I love that one. I have Rose Topaz. Love that one. And I also have Tiger Eye. So any of those are gorgeous, but I do see that they have the new ones here, and that is in the Velours Khaki, and then the Violet Sateen. So you guys let, need to let me know if I need to pick up one or both of those. Um, those have been recently launched, and I was waiting for the sale to pick those up because those are a $90 eye quad, definitely a splurge, and was going to wait for the sale on those. Um, but those do look very pretty, and I do love that formula. So if you're looking to splurge on an eyeshadow quad, I do recommend recommend the Tom Ford Creme Eyeshadow Quads. For a mascara recommendation, I really do love the Gucci L'Obscure Lengthening Mascara. I have repurchased that one, and as many of you know, my holy grail is the Chantecaille Faux Seals Longest Lash Mascara, but this is a close second. So really love that one, and the packaging is pink, so that's a little bonus. Super cute. So in my cart, I have the Givenchy Rose Perfecto Lip Balm. I heard these were amazing, and I have that in my cart in Milky Nude. I am somebody who loves a little glossy lip and something that's going to provide me with hydration. So I'm going to pick up those to try. Okay, two more brush recommendations. I tell everybody this every Sephora sale or any sale that you can get these brushes on sale. This is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Complexion Brush. I think I now own seven of these. Love this brush so much. Use it every single day, not only for foundation, for cream bronzer, for cream blushes, liquid blushes, anything that you want. This is the perfect brush ever. Highly recommend it. And then this is the Glow Maker brush. This is the La Mer Fluffy. This is the La Mer Powder Brush. This is another brush that I use every single day. And I use this to kind of finish off my face, making sure that everything is nice and blended. It is so soft, but I also just find that once you've applied your makeup and at the very end, I will take a little bit of my bronzer. I've been using the Valentino Universal Bronzer and just put a little bit all over my face, but also making sure that I'm blending everything in so that it is seamless. So although this is a splurge item, I highly recommend it. You'll get your money's worth out of it and I'm sure you'll use it every single day just like I do. Okay, perfumes. I probably am going to do a whole other video on some perfume recommendations, but I did want to quickly give you a heads up of three of them that I have been obsessed with. And the first one is from Killian. This is Love Don't Be Shy Extreme version. I just love this perfume so much. If you are a fan of Love Don't Be Shy, and you like a bit of rose in your fragrance, then I think you're going to love the extreme version. This is a very sweet and sexy and playful fragrance. This is a warm floral that is very intoxicating. This is one that you're going to get tons of compliments on. Um, this is the one that Rihanna wears. I don't know if she wears the extreme version, but I like this one a bit more. Um, I wouldn't say that it's more extreme, i.e. 
too strong. I find that this one has this touch of Turkish rose in here that I feel like balances out the sweetness and I'm somebody that does love rose fragrances. I wouldn't say this is super rose dominant but I feel like it just tones down uh, the sweetness just a bit, makes it a bit more sophisticated but it's still very sexy and fun and I just love wearing this. So this one, Love Don't Be Shy Extreme, highly recommend it. And the other two fragrances that I want to give a shout out to is the Commodity line. And specifically for this time of year, I recommend Commodity Milk and Commodity Gold. And I'm so thrilled that they are selling this at Sephora. I feel like this is a very underrated brand and I love so many of their fragrances. So with commodity fragrances, they come in three different formulas. So one fragrance like milk will come in personal. So it's going to be kind of a softer fragrance that's meant to be enjoyed by you yourself. Then there is the milk expressive. That is going to be one that's going to be very well balanced. That's going to be enjoyed by yourself and others around you and then there is the bold version which is meant to be more of a statement fragrance so when you are looking at the fragrances you can also pick between these three different expressions or ways that you can wear fragrances so in the milk I have it in the expressive formula and this is going to be for my gourmand lovers it's going to be perfect for this fall winter season this is going to be a warm and spicy gourmand but it's got this kind of cold milk note in here that makes this very special. This also includes mahogany wood and tonka bean which is one of my favorite notes because it adds this kind of rich warmth to fragrances and this one is just fantastic for right now. If you are a vanilla fragrance fan then I recommend gold. This is the classic vanilla fragrance. It smells so good. I have it in the expressive as well as the bold version and the bold version of this is going to have a bit of nutmeg in here, saffron, patchouli. So this one's just going to be a bit more spicy, a little bit more sexy. And then I find that the original gold is just like the classic perfect vanilla fragrance. I could not see anybody not loving it. It is that good. It's just like your perfect classic vanilla amber fragrance. It is going to smell so good, especially in the cooler months. So I wanted to mention those three fragrances and I will do another video just for the Sephora sale with perfume recommendations. Okay guys, these are my recommendations. I tried to pick a little bit from each category. I know I didn't get to everything, but these are just the things that I have been loving lately and would highly recommend to anybody. So, happy shopping everyone and I will be back with another video soon.